Yeah. And it's going to be the biggest disaster movie on record going for $200 million. You there know, there's you go. Plenty, of, plenty of starving people in the world, but we can spend $200 million on this film. Oh, of course, no and, problem. Um, and, yeah, and what this film is going to perpetrate, and everyone on the bloody planet is going to know about 2012 for being a disaster. So if what I'm saying is this idea of a mind before matter situation, if the general population are all believing that 2012 is going to come around and it's going to be a disaster, our consciousness could end up manifesting that for us. And the hmm. problem we've got is obviously that the people in power have the technological, like, well, the technology to survive such a thing, and the general population don't. So it's all about the manifestation of a disaster that they're trying to swing their way by putting out this, this information to the public. Hmm. One, Do you understand one, what I'm saying? Of, cor of course. One, yeah. quick, one quick question there is, if they're at the same time are trying to put, uh, you know, uh, Prince William up as the new messiah, if you will, yeah. are they yeah. at the same time also trying to destroy everything that they are building up here then around 2012? Well, uh, the interpretation I've got is that in between this 2008 and 2012, because obviously the two logos contain the word Zion, yeah. there's going to be a lot of things happening in between those four years. We're not just going to end up with one event. It's going to be a sequence of events continually. Yeah. And um, I believe for anyone to be implemented as king of the world, which I think they're aiming for, you know, you, you're going to have to touch like you're going to have to touch people, and those people are going to be have to, they're going to have to have been stretched. Do you know hmm. what I mean? They're going to have to be on an emotional knife edge to believe everything that they're seeing. Yeah. No, no, that's all I can say is that I do believe that in the run-up, like for instance when you've got Prince Charles beaming himself into the EU via holographic technology. <laughs> yeah, there we um, go. <laughs> and stating, stating stuff along the lines of that he knows for a fact that in 18 months' time we're going to have a sequence of mega disasters all around the world. How does that man know that that is going to happen? Did he say that? Yeah, he did say it. He said it about two weeks ago. Really or not? Yeah, do a search for um, Prince Charles, uh, natural disasters, 18 months, and you'll probably find it straight away. Okay, I will do that. That's very interesting, okay. Yeah, but, but, you know, yeah. How does this man know that? Do you know what I mean? It's uh, scary. Well, he, he's, he's, uh, he's at the potentially at the top of the pyramid, you know, who knows? <laughs> that's, well, he's, that's, he's, he's a Zyrus, isn't he? <laughs> well, exactly. There you go. Exactly, he is. Um, no, I mean, the, 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 this is... Uh, there's so many people also that have been looking at at, at Prince William and and uh, you know have, uh, that that come from this from a from a different angle and so forth um, yeah. and and I mean I I definitely see that there's something there I mean there's incredible stuff going on uh, on the symbolical level and and yet I always try to or rather I kind of move back towards the the, the other perspective of the, okay is this something is there an archetypal image within civilization of, of man that right now always kind of strive for, for the, the, the trinity and whatever course, yeah. people that are in a position to represent this trinity are, are going to be put forth as such. And those who are sure. you know, smart enough to pick up on this can see it. Or is this a, a totally manipulated thing from day yeah. one, you know, going in, this is what we're going to do, and this is where everything leads. What, what do you think I mean, about that? As far as I'm concerned, um, you know, we never really chose our royal family. Um, so as far as like people pushing these forwards as these archetypes, yeah. um, I don't see that because they, they seem to have, um, you know, claimed 
claim this land without any real justification. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> um, so I, 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 to perceive, I perceive this as something that's been hijacked. Hmm. You, you know. What? I mean, obviously, all of this, all of this could be at the the very least just my creative brain coming up with a no, no, uh, yeah, I, no, a no, I mean, story. I, I think. I mean, I, I, I agree with you on 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 one level. I always, I always, keep, I always keep the other door open, but that doesn't mean that I reject either one of the theories. You know, I'm totally yeah, yeah. for with what you're saying here. I mean, it's a, yeah. I, I, I totally agree. It's, it's, it's. I mean, it's incredible when you think about it. And you know what? Um, I want to do it like this. I want to g give you a, a, a proposition here, so to speak. I want to have you back on the program, and uh, because okay. we actually have, have uh, gone through basically two hours now, I think that, that this is a good amount of information for this time. So, what do you say, Rick? Are, are we up for a part two here in a while? Yeah, that's fine. No worries. I'm up for that. Okay, great. Um, because there's so so much more to to talk about. But okay, let's let's begin to round things up here because this has been uh, very interesting, and I think that. What you managed to do here also in a way is to kind of uh, uh, take a lot of the material that is out there. Uh, you know, there's basically this is the uh, the big, the grand, you know, uh, idea of what is happening in, you know, within one mm. perspective. If you collectively bring in a lot of different research, I don't know how you have yeah. come up with a lot of these answers, but I'm certainly familiar with a lot of the concept that you present. And, and, and this, I would reckon at least, are building upon other uh, people's research, like you know, mm. everyone from Jordan Maxwell to, you know, as you said, Manny P. Hall to Graham Hancock to Matthew Deleuze to, you know, there's tons of people out there, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know the first name that he presented, but Graham Hancock, uh, Matthew Deleuze, obviously Ian Crane, um, and just, yeah, general reading, Daniel Pinchbeck and stuff. Of course, but I mean, if it's you... It's a culmina culmination of everything, isn't it? It's, it's the way we're all working, we're building up on each other. Exactly, that's right. It's a, it's a convergence of information. I, and I, I must mention, the reason I mentioned Jordan Maxwell, uh, the name that you didn't recognize, is no. that a lot of his research is featured in Zeitgeist, and um, unfortunately, they didn't even mention his name once in that film. I mean, really? No, they've, <laughs> they've had over two million viewers, I mean, so okay. pro probably more so far. And if they just even would pop out his name there, I would be so much more happier. It's a personal hero yeah. of mine, and, and, you know, research your... Take a look. Write up the name Jordan Maxwell and take a look at some of the videos that you're going to find on, on uh, Video Google and stuff like that, really? because it's brilliant uh, research there, you know, so... Um, we will talk more soon, and uh, we'll uh, stay stay with me here, Rick, and we'll talk more uh, off air. Okay? Okay. Cool, Rick. Thank, thank you. you very, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to the next stage in our journey to the Olympic and the Paralympic Games in London in 2012, and I will never tire of saying that. The Olympic spirit is about finding the best in ourselves. London 2012 will be that and more.